Hello, everyone, and welcome back to yet another political episode. So, regardless on what I said, um, my last video on Tulsi Gabbard, we're pushing that aside now. We've got some new results here. Um, this map, uh, has been updated on October 7th, so a pretty while ago. Um, but we have some polls in New York. Um, are, we are seeing different polling in the state of New York. I want to go over these different types of pollings. So ultimately, most uh, think New York will go strong blue, like it has in presidential elections and Senate elections. Well, we'll see what it says here. We're, this is the 270 to win polls. Uh, 270 to win is predicting a decisive Democrat win in New York. Um, and then Sabudu's Crystal is saying um, a decisive is also saying <clears throat> is also saying a decisive win. Cook political same thing. Uh, inside, as you see, most elections are saying that um, most sources are saying that um, New York is most likely to go uh, very big blue. Um, same thing here with uh, New York. Um, but, but once again, 538, a more left-wing leaning source. Um, there are more moderate sources, to be honest with you. Uh, there, once again, every single source is saying New York will go blue. Uh, Elections Daily, Fox News, even r the more conservative Fox News is even predicting that New York will probably go solid blue. Uh, Politico. Uh, finally, we are seeing more lighter. Um, I see political as more um, mm, conservative, according to these maps. Um, so yeah, New York is going to a likely. The only what seems the strong blue is Hawaii and California on this map. The most likely is New York having a leaning color of uh, likely. So um, with that, U.S. News, uh, same thing. Uh, incumbent party, yeah, we don't, we will stop with that. So what we have seen here, so a lot of people, uh, um, more conservatives are thinking, hmm, uh, New York, it's going to probably become a, uh, Oregon. Are you thinking that Oregon? So Oregon went from poll saying, oh, it's going to be safe blue, safe blue. Then it went to likely blue. Then it goes to leaning blue. And now it's a toss up. Because we don't really know what's going on in the state of Oregon. Many are saying, okay, like uh, Red Eagle politics, uh, Buckeye politics are saying, hey, New York most is most likely going to be a toss-up. Now, why would anyone say that? New York has been a strong blue Democrats voting state. It has New York City. It has Buffalo. It has Rochester. It has Albany. It has all these major cities all around New York. Why on earth would it vote for Republicans? Well, uh, here, it, and I'm not, I'm totally neutral. I have, I would totally think New York would go Democrat. In the end, I think Democrats would win in New York. But yeah, according to what uh, Buckeye politics and uh, Red Eagle politics is are saying, the more conservative um, Sources. They're saying that, um, okay, and I honestly think they know better that New York will probably go blue, okay? New York, I honestly will think, I'm going to mention to you, it's going to go blue. Uh, it, it, I would be super surprised if it went Republican. And if it did, the GOP would be celebrating. Um, and, and GOP would be saying something right now. But honestly, I do think Democrats will triumph in the state of New York, unless someone in the comments tells me otherwise. So, um, but... The idea is, so this I'm going to do is the same thing I did in my Florida videos. I'm going to do a, a red wave scenario in the state of New York. I My prediction is New York is going to go pretty Democrat. Um, still Democrat. Democrats will still win. But of course, we're going to take a look at these poll results. I'm going to take a look at the 2020 presidential election, and we're going to click. Here we go. Come on, New York.
Um, so I'm gonna go down to the county. So this is the map. How, uh, Florida, I mean, not Florida, New York voted in the 2020 presidential election. 60% for Biden. Um, that's a strong margin. So here, let's take a look at the county. So we have Albany County. It voted to, for around uh, 59%. Obviously, 59% is close to 60%. So I would think Albany County, pretty blue, would go to uh, the Whitmere, who is the uh, runner, the governor of Florida and New York. And here's the thing. New York... Governor Governor Whitmere has is pretty unpopular reasons. Um, first off, we haven't really heard of her in the news recently. Now, Mark, um, Andrew Cuomo, Governor Cuomo, he was very uh popular, very popular. I mean, I've seen books around him. He was a huge popular star in New York, and a after he resigned last year. We haven't heard nothing from New York other than the mayor of New York, but nothing from the governor. Governor, uh, no, it's not. I keep, I said Governor Whitmere. Governor Whitmere is from Michigan. Pardon me, my friends. Pardon me. So, Governor, and I don't even know the governor of New York. It's kind of crazy. Um, even though, uh, this, so, this governor here is very unpopular. Uh, yes, Kathy Hochul. Uh, yeah, I, I honestly would. So, oh, Kathy Hochul, I would know nothing. Uh, so, um, yeah, she was the lieutenant governor under uh, the under mm, the Como administration. So, yes, um, I want to address that governor. Very unpopular approval rating. I don't know. I don't. I'm not from New York. I don't follow that stuff. Um, polls. I um, as of right now, Democrats looking pretty good. Uh, Holchel having a hard time, uh, grabbing more supporters. That's is, this is what I am hearing, um, from all sides. Uh, as, uh, we're seeing that New York Republicans are more enthusiastic, more, uh, get, has more energy into it. So I would say, hey, uh, Republicans will win in New York because they have more energy. Not necessarily. Um, it really depends on the polls. So really, sure, yes. He also, a. a, a also depends on the political environment. Um, so very well, I do think new, there has been New York governors, Republican New York governors, uh, like 20 years ago. So definitely, I do think Republicans can win New York. Uh, we're going to take a look at Bronx County here. Bronx County, definitely a blue stronghold. Bronx County, uh, it's a borough in New York. Oh, no, it's a, oh, it's a Bronx, uh, part of New York. Um, it is... Definitely going blue. Eighty-three percent for Democrats, uh, and once again, huge amount of votes coming in that area. That is one area that Republicans probably cannot flip. Um, is Bronx County huge Democrat area? Uh, huge Democrat stronghold. So Bronx County. Uh, Broom, uh, forty-seven percent um, against. So definitely Broome County. I would think Broome County will go conservative, so we're going to ignore that. Clinton County, a 48% for Democrats. Um, with 48% for Democrats, definitely uh, conservatives can win Clinton County. Columbia County, yes, conservatives can win Columbia. Uh, Dutchess County, 50%. Erie County, 53%. Essex County if it 48%. So once I, these blue counties I'm skipping, conservatives can win. Um they're they're within the they're a little over 50. Uh yes, I do think they can win here. Kings County definitely is a is a blue stronghold. No one can break the New York counties. Uh well that this county Brooklyn, uh, which is called Kings when it comes to counties. Uh, King County. Kings County will go Democrat easily. Um, I think this is this is Kings, this is Bronx. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, it doesn't matter. They're, it's New York City, and we know what they're, how they're going to vote. Um, Monroe County, 56. 
Um, I'm going to give that to the Democrats because it's above 55. I'm very, I know many of you guys, some of you guys may not disagree. Oh, Monroe County can definitely go uh, Republican. No, not necessarily because there is a big city there. There is Rochester. And, um, now soon we're going to skip Manhattan. New York County will definitely, with 77% of the popular vote, will go easily to Democrats. They don't even need to try there. Um, Onondaga, I don't know how to pronounce that, but Onondaga, Onondaga, I'm going to say it, will go for Democrats. Um, right here. Um, Queens. Um, that is another New York county. Uh, this county, Queens County, um, is the one, yeah, it's, oh yeah, this is Queens. Yeah, I, I, for, apologies, no, not really, but, forgive me for my, uh, delusion when it comes to counties in New York. Yeah, 66%, Queens. Uh, Renesler. I'm gonna look up Bronx real quick, because obviously I have, I had to have pushed the click the wrong one, or just search up Bronx. Renesler. Uh, let's see. Renesler is a 47 percent. We don't need to worry about you. You're probably Republicans can win. Um. Rockland, Republicans can win that. Uh, Saratoga, a win. Schenectady, whatever that is. So uh, another skip. Tompkins, the Bronx. That's what it's called. Um, yeah, it's the one up here. Duh, Bronx. Um. Tompkins, we're almost to the end. Tompkins County, I do think, for sure, will go Democrat. Uh, it has a city there. If I very unknown city, but it has it's pretty. It has some people there, a hundred some, and that are more Democrat leaning. Um, Ulster will go. That's a neutral. West Westchester, uh, that is another county uh that is just above new york city that for sure i believe will go for democrats just because yeah it's by new york city as part of that metro um and that is it so controversially this is what republic this is what it may look like if republicans do this is the goodest this is the map this is what the map will look like if Republicans do the greatest they ever did in New York in modern times. This is how the, what the map will look like. No, New York's not going to carry it. Republicans are going to carry every county. That's not going to happen. Democrats will definitely hold strong to New York. Um, so, yeah. And, yeah, only borough of New York City is Richmond. They have a little island, and that's a Republican part of New York City, Richmond County, little island. So yeah, this is our map of New York. Uh, this is, so 53 counties going to the Republican candidate. I'm going to look that person up. Um, and nine counties going to Pochel. 2022 New York gubernatorial election. Um, And once again, we got to consider um, Schumer. Schumer is up for re-election this year. Um, yes, Lee Zeldin. So, it's saying that Zeldin's uh, margins are surging. Uh, that's why I'm hearing from conservatives. Oh, Lee Zeldin's surging the polls, okay? Um, will this possibly lead to a toss-up? Well, you can tell me. This is a pretty close map. Uh, this is more of a toss-up, and will this pause if the Zeldin surge is true? This is prob. Will this map be 
be what it looks like, maybe. Uh, is this a Democrat win map? Absolutely. I do think this is a Democrat win map. Is this a Republican win map? Yeah, baby. Um, now, let's just say Republicans carry this this county, uh, probably not Albany. Uh, we could t we could throw uh, Rochester in there. Um, yeah, the, uh, if they carry this uh, amount, like if Republicans manage to take these counties, yeah, Republicans would win this. This would be a Republican win map. Ultimately, these have voted uh, for Democrats more than ten points. So obviously, for counties that voted for. Uh, the one party for more than 10 points, I'm going to give it to them. Uh, mainly because, yeah. So, he, um, because, yeah, it's kind of unbreakable. Take a lot of people to flip that. Take a lot of public opinion to flip and change. So, yeah, this is the prediction. No, not saying, oh, there's a red wave coming in New York. I'm not saying that at all. This video is not at all saying, um, and not created at all to say, oh, New, New York's going to flip blue, it's going to go blue, it's going to be super blue. No, um, this is obviously, this is mostly a, a prediction of the, um, this is mostly to show uh, many others um, uh, that, and mainly, and maybe a, a, ca a caution, like a calm, like to precaution Democrats. This is what it looks like if uh, Republicans do really good in New York. Obviously, they won't win with huge margins. They can't. Uh, this is a blue state. It's voted 60% for Democrats. It's going to remain blue. There's Chuck Schumer in there. He's crushed it in the whole state. He's probably going to win again. So, what do you guys think? And do you think, um, let's see, that Lee Zeldin uh, will win this state of New York? Or will he do good in the state of New York? Or will he do bad? Depending on New York polls. All right, and this is it. Thank you all for watching.